Moponi Rest Camp, Gateway to the Far Northern Kruger National Park, brought to you by the book series Rest Camps of the Kruger Park, in support of Kruger Kids, giving orphan kids the gift of a Kruger Safari. Hello, my name is Mario Smook. I've been a regular visitor to the Kruger Park since way back in the early 1960s. In this video I'd like to share with you why Mopani is such a popular rest camp. And as a thank you to you for watching, please see later in this video how to download your free volume from my book series, Rest Camps of the Kruger Park. So now, without further ado, let's get started. Mopani Rest Camp is located in the far northern Kruger Park area between the Taba and Chinguetsi Rest Camps. It is perched on the top of a rocky outcrop that overlooks the beautiful Pioneer Dam. Built in 1992, this newest camp breaks away from the traditional Rondaval style of older camps. All of the bungalows, cottages, guest cottages and guest house have been built from thatch, wood and rough stone that makes them blend in with the surroundings while the indigenous trees in the camp have been left untouched. Mopani Camp, its name taken from the Mopani tree vegetation that is pervasive throughout the surrounding bushveld, is a medium-sized camp that can accommodate almost 500 guests. The surrounding landscape is of monotonous flat plains with endless specimens of apple leaf, mixed bush willow and silver cluster leaf trees, mixed acacias and shrub mopani, as well as some sweet grasses which attract grazers and their predators to the area. Some of the biggest tuskers recorded in the park were found in the vicinity of the Mopani rest camp. With 102 accommodation units, Mopani certainly offers something for everyone. Included are four sleeper thatched roof bungalows, positioned to maximize privacy wherever possible. Each bungalow includes a bathroom with toilet and shower, as well as a veranda with kitchenette, table and chairs, and a braai, and four have views of the Pioneer Dam. Mopani also offers 45 six-sleeper cottages and one eight-sleeper four-room guest house. Each guest cottage includes three bedrooms with two single beds in each, with ensuite and separate bathrooms, plus a kitchen with lounge-dining room combination. The verandas are spacious and some have views of the dam. The main activities at Mopani Rest Camp centers around the main complex and its Fish Eagle Terrace, appropriately named for the many sightings of fish eagles that feed in the Pioneer Dam and that can be viewed from the terrace. The view can also be enjoyed while eating on the a la carte restaurant deck or from the air-conditioned lounge and ladies bar. In addition, there is also an open-air bar from where the north end of the dam can be viewed as well as perfect African sunsets in the west. Part of the main complex is also the Mopani shop which is well stocked with everything to make a visitor stay comfortable and enjoyable. Included are souvenirs, books, camping and cooking accessories, firewood, clothing, camera accessories, basic groceries, ice cream, drinks and snacks. Mopani Camp offers many amenities, activities and services, such as a reception and information centre where guests can check in on arrival, make reservation changes, check on latest animal sightings and book guided game drives on specially equipped vehicles that transport guests on three game viewing trips every day. For the more adventurous wanting to see the game close up, there is the opportunity to take walks outside the camp with an armed field guide or to enjoy a restaurant catered bush braai outside the camp. Or to overnight in the Shippendani bird hide only 3 kilometers from the camp, an opportunity to possibly get really close to the nightlife. Mopani has a beautiful swimming pool that overnight guests can cool off in, including a paddling area for small children and grass under shade trees for them to play on. Mopani has a designated separate picnic area for day visitors on the right hand side when driving into the camp. It offers plenty of picnic tables under a thatched roof that provides welcoming shade during the summer months. Scortle rentals are also available for hire and public toilets are close by. 
Lovers of indigenous landscaping and trees are delighted when walking around Mapani Rest Camp. Of special interest to tree enthusiasts is the mature baobab tree standing in the middle of the camp, as well as the young baobab tree and sickle bush in front of the main complex. Many of the trees and plants are name tagged to make identification easier and are also the home to some interesting creatures, like this wormslung or this yellow-billed hornbill, as well as four-legged visitors on the ground. Mapani has a very nice one and a half kilometer in-camp trail. It runs from the Fish Eagle Terrace and along the fence to the swimming pool with views of the dam along the way. There are information signs to read and benches to sit on and watch the wildlife in the water. Unlike other in-camp trails, this one is a little steep and uneven in parts, which can be challenging for some. This is a very enjoyable walk for reasonably fit and able walkers. At night, just like all the other rest camps, Mapani comes alive with the sight and smell of briar fires and the sound of insects, frogs and nocturnal animals, some of which are revealed by the torch beams of guests patrolling the perimeter fence. With all of these features, amenities, activities, sites and beautiful accommodations, it's no wonder that Mapani remains one of the most popular rest camps in the far northern part of the park. For detailed information about Mapani Rest Camp, consider visiting restcampsofthekrugerpark.com and ordering your print or ebook copy of Volume 4, titled The Far North 4, which describes Mapani, Tsenze, Jingwezi and Punda Maria camps. Just like the other four volumes, it includes information about things to do, activities, in-camp animals, birds and trees, as well as detailed accommodation maps that shows which units have the best views and features or which are closest to the different amenities, plus information about what to expect inside the accommodations, prices and much more. Not sure what to pack and take with in your Kruger Safari? Well, I have an ever-evolving list that I've been using for more than 50 years that I'd love to share with you. So while visiting restcampsofthekrugerpark.com, also see how you can download a free copy of my five-page packing list and tips to make sure that nothing is forgotten at home. And while there, you can also visit my Bushveld store to make sure that you'll have everything that you need to make your Kruger Safari just perfect while at the same time supporting my Kruger Kids project to give orphan kids the gift of a Kruger Safari. And please join my Facebook group where you can talk to other Kruger lovers, ask questions and get news. Now, as my thank you to you for watching to the end of this video, please go to restcampsofthekrugerpark.com and download your free ebook copy of Volume 1, titled The Lower South 3, which I hope will help to make your next trip to the Kruger Park just as wonderful as all of mine have been. This brings me to the end of my video about Mapani Rest Camp. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up below, as that improves its Google ranking and thereby indirectly supports my Kruger Kids project. Thank you for watching, enjoy the book, and have a wonderful trip to the Kruger.